Planet Dolan. From fire juggling to shredding on an electric guitar, the Planet Dolan crew reenacts some of the best true stories from our subreddit about the coolest things we've ever seen a teacher do. My name is Nixium, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 10 was submitted by Pika Ray. When Pringle was in high school, he had a really cool math teacher who was especially accommodating to students' needs. For instance, Pringle always had a ton of problems with math, so one day his teacher asked him what kinds of things he liked. Pringle proceeded to tell him about his love for games like Valkyria Chronicles and Dragon Age. And the next day, his teacher came in with some worksheets with Valkyria Chronicles and Dragon Age themed questions. Pringle could tell that all the teacher did was read up on some Wikipedia article about the games, but it was still super awesome that the teacher went through all that effort just for him. Number 9 was submitted by TS1316199191. Pandora's third grade gym teacher was the coolest. Before becoming a teacher, he was a juggler and an acrobat in a circus. He even taught them things he learned in the circus, like how to juggle. Possibly, though, the coolest thing he did happened near the end of the year. He promised that if the students' grades were good enough, he would juggle flaming torches for them. And not surprisingly, he actually kept his promise and did a fire juggling routine at the end of the year. Number eight was submitted by Ur My Lurdy. Andy's eighth grade teacher was a big World of Warcraft nerd like she was. They would always talk about WoW parodies and the idiots that they met in raids. And when someone would finish their test, he would let them create a WoW trial account. Andy already had her own account, and she would regularly play online with her teacher. He was a Worgen warlock, and Andy was an undead rogue, both of them around level 80. Her teacher would buy a pack of WoW cards for anyone that scored higher than his level on a test. He even let Andy and a couple of the other kids use his WoW private server. Number 7 was submitted by Atomic Sarky. Robo's former chemistry teacher was a really cool guy. One of his best moments came during one fateful lesson when they were using Bunsen burners. All was going smoothly until a boy started screaming. Robo looked in his direction and saw that his hair had caught on fire. Nobody around him knew what to do, so the teacher, he jumped up down from the table he was standing on, ran across the room to the panicked boy, and pulled him into a bear hug to smother the fire. The boy sustained some burns to his face, and his hair looked really weird for a while, but he would have suffered a lot worse if the teacher hadn't have been there to help. Number six was submitted by Tech Ray Namon. It was Zaragamba's last year of high school, and he went out into the hall after getting kicked out of class when his teacher, Mr. Mike, stepped out of the classroom for a moment. When he returned, three students had decided to hold the door closed so the teacher couldn't get back in. Zaragamba could see him getting really angry, and he knew that Mr. Mike was no ordinary teacher. He did MMA, as well as teach grade 10 math. He got so infuriated that he couldn't get back in that he punched the door, putting his fist through the wood. Zaragamba was shocked, as was everybody else in the classroom. Mr. Mike yelled at the three boys to sit back down, and he went back to teaching as if nothing happened. Number five was submitted by Wingless Nightingale. Sid had a world history teacher named Mr. Damaris. He would often talk about his collection of historical artifacts, and on occasion, he would bring them in. One day, he said to the class, Later this week, we will be talking about the Vikings, and if any of you show up in a somewhat historically accurate costume, you automatically get an A on this next test. If more than three of you do it, I will show up in a full suit of armor on Monday and will wear it for the whole week. 
Friday rolled around, and three of Sid's classmates were wearing rags and covered nearly head to toe in paint. Mr. Damaris, he was impressed at the attention to detail, and by the time Monday rolled around, Sid had totally forgotten about the armor. But sure enough, when he walked into his fifth period history class, there was Mr. Damaris standing in a suit of 16th century French battle armor. Sid nearly dropped his books, and just as he said, Mr. Damaris wore the suit for the entire week. Number four was submitted by Relic. Shortly before his graduation ceremony in 1980, Ghost Toast had a separate ceremony in the auditorium for students who had won scholarships and school awards. This included speeches from various teachers. Ghost Toast's music teacher was among them. A classical musician, he was a pretty straight-laced guy. He started his speech, and he showed them all an electric guitar he had with him. He started playing just like he usually did, classically. Then he suddenly said, But you all more likely expected this. He then proceeded to shred like the spirit of Eddie Van Halen had just possessed him. Everybody in that auditorium gave him a round of applause. Number three was submitted by Echo Four. Doopy was in class one day when suddenly a kid yelled out, There's a polyrath! Doopy's teacher then asked him, Want to go catch it? Everybody screamed yes. The teachers were so used to seeing their students playing Pokemon Go that he let each kid leave the class one at a time to catch the Polyrath out in the hall. Number two was submitted by Thor's Demon. Mrs. Thede, Melissa's third grade teacher, noticed a boy in her class was always late and he missed class multiple times a month. She didn't ignore this or punish the kid. She sat down with him and she asked him why. It turned out he was a child of a single mom who worked so hard his older siblings had the job of waking him up and getting him ready for school. Being much older and still mourning the loss of their father, they were skipping school and ignoring their task. So Mrs. Thede bought him an alarm clock and made sure he had breakfast by getting everyone to eat first thing in the morning. For the rest of the time this kid was in school, she gave him the help that he needed. And number one was submitted by me. When I was in college, I had to write a 10-page paper about a word that had a universal definition but meant something special to me. I chose the word magic, and for the longest time, I struggled. I really struggled to explain what this word meant to me. But I got creative. Instead of writing your traditional boring essay, I wrote a paper that was a story. It was the story of a young boy meeting an old man out in the forest who teaches him the meaning of the word through poetry, music, and singing. My teacher loved this paper so much that she sent it to every other writing teacher in the school. And to this day, my essay is used by the teachers at my college as an example to new students on how to write an essay and do it creatively. All right. So a huge thanks to the folks over at our Planet Dolan subreddit for submitting their stories. But we have another question for you. What's your cringiest school memory? Let us know in the Reddit page linked below, and you might be featured in a future countdown. Mm.